Today on Straight Talk Africa, more of my exclusive interview with Ghanaian President John Dramani Mahama from Castle Osu, the Ghanaian equivalent of the American White House. We discuss the legacy of the late President John Evans at Mills and talk about the way forward for the West African nation. And yes, Ethiopia's Prime Minister Meres Zenawi died Monday. He was at the political helm of that nation since 1991. All that is coming up next on Straight Talk Africa. Hello, welcome to a special edition of Straight Talk Africa, live from the Voice of America studios here in Washington. It's Wednesday, August 22nd. I am Shaka Sali. Today, we bring you our exclusive interview with the Ghanaian new president, John Dramani Mahama, that was taped days after the sudden death of John Atamirus. But first, newly sworn in President John Dramani Mahama along with thousands of Ghanaians and visiting dignitaries, paid their last respects to the country's late president, John Evans Atamirus, who died suddenly on July 24th. My colleague Paul Sisko has more on the state funeral that was held on August the 10th. <laughs> They lined the streets for hours in Accra. Thousands of Ghanaians followed the president's coffin as it conveyed from the state house to Independence Square for the funeral and ceremony. I fought almost uh, two and a half hours to be here, and uh, it's so important to me because I love my president. That's why I'm here. The president has left, left Ghanaians a good legacy. Um, I hope and trust that the rest of us will carry on, will work hard and give it, give it our all, and we'll carry this great nation forward. Ghanaians pay their last respects to their president, John Atta Mills, who was five months short of completing his first term. Eighteen African heads of state, along with U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, attended the funeral. The service was broadcast live on national television. New president, John Dramani Mahama. I'm humbled and awed by the legacy that he has left behind. As we celebrate President Mills' life and legacy of public service, as we mourn this tremendous loss, let us all pledge to be of service to Ghana, not only in word, but in deed, so that our country, our nation, may continue to be that shining star of Africa. John Adam Mills was Ghana's third democratically elected president. He guided Ghana as it became an oil exporter and oversaw one of Africa's fastest growing economies. He will be remembered as a man of humility and peace. Paul Sisko, VOA News.